Hey everyone, I am Bryn. As always, happy Monday. It is freezing outside today, uh, but glad you guys are here with me to hang out and get our bar on. Uh, today, all you're going to need is a chair or a counter or something to use as a bar. Uh, you're gonna need a couple of light weights. Okay, if you don't have weights, you can use whatever at home works. Cans of food, water bottles, anything else. And then um, our little small squishy balls. Of course, I couldn't find mine today. But if you don't have a little squishy ball, then you can use a pillow or um, anything really that will work for you. I'm probably gonna end up using a pillow today because we don't have anything else. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, toss them in the chat box. Turn your audio on and ask me. That's totally fine with me. And I'm going to get my music started here and then we will warm up. Hopefully everyone is doing well today, despite the temperature. All right. All right, so warming up here, we're gonna start by taking the feet out, okay? Toes are turned out just a little bit. Back. We're gonna take two second plie steps out, okay? So we're here, out, here, and then we're gonna reach it up back to the other side, arms coming and out. So nice and wide. So shoulders are nice and relaxed. Tailbone is tucked. Little toe point, little reach. Good. Just starting to get everything warm here. Big breaths in and out through the nose. And two more each side. Good, come to center, all right. We're going to step down. and step it out, back to center, step it out. Here, step, center, step. So feet together, hands come down. Make sure you bend those knees. Come down to the floor. You've got four, three, two, last one. Good, coming to center, taking a regular squat, opening it up. Squat to the side. Squat center. Open it up to the other side. Good. Starting to breathe hard. Center. Out. Good. Ooh. Two more. Last one. 
Good, regular squats here in center, all right? So we're coming down, up, down, up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. And use those hands, do a little press back. Good, four, three, two, last one, hold it here. We're gonna pulse, eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, stay in the squat, lift the right heel, pulse down. Eight, seven, six, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna switch sides. Now, make sure that you're actually in a squat position here, okay? Get it back first, then lift that left heel, pulse it for 10. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, Two and one. Good. Whew. All right, a couple more here. Good. Step for two. Reach. Arms are nice and wide. Good, two more. Last ones, last one to the left. Good, Woo. good job. All right, go ahead and take a couple breaths here. Catch your breath, get a drink. We're gonna grab your weights. We're gonna do a little bit, a couple of the same moves from last week. All right, so go ahead and bring the weights here. All right, they're gonna come up just about to your shoulders, a little tiny bit higher, okay? You're gonna lift both heels, turn the toes out, Press up, all right? So, goes one, two, three, four. Make sure we're really pressing into the balls of the feet. Take it a little faster, all right? Here we go. Up, up, up. Just hold those weights. If that's too much, you can always get rid of the weights and just focus on the calves, okay? So we're really pressing into the balls of the feet, really lifting those heels up off the floor. All right, it's not, we're not just doing little lifts here. Okay, using momentum, kind of rocking, see? We're coming all the way up onto the toes, turning those toes out, pressing all the way up, all right? So really getting into those calves, press, press. Good, keep going, up, 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 good. Four more. Two. Last one, good. All right, these we did last week, cross, that left ankle over the right. Pop a little bit so I don't hit my thing. Arms come out to the sides, okay? Straight down, but keep a little micro bend in that elbow just so that you don't lock the arms out. We're lifting both into a releve at the same time. Up, down, up, down. You can lift the arms a little bit. Again, same thing here. This isn't just a little, you know, little bounce. We're coming all the way up under the walls of the feet. 
you can see, turn around just for a second, you can see when you really press into the balls of the feet, you can see the calves really activate. All right. Really press up. If you need to go a little bit slower, that's fine. We're just really focused on working those calves here. Good. We're going to need four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. All right. Wide second. Okay. Hands rest on either thigh. Your toes are turned out to the side. Your tailbone is tucked. Okay, so we're not squatting here. Hips are not back here. Tuck that tailbone under, sitting up nice and tall. Alternating heel lifts up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Some more calf work. Keep breathing. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Up. Down. Up. Oh, good job. Come up. Ooh. Take a second. Move those hips from side to side. Good. All right. Keep those legs wide. Turn the toes out just a little bit. Just a little bit more arm work in here, okay? We're going to do a bicep curl to the front side. Keep the elbows in. Catch your breath here while we're just moving the arms. Feel free to always use heavier weights or lighter weights. These are three pounds. For these specifically, I could probably do five or seven and a half, um, but I don't have a set of all of those at home. So feel free to modify and add or subtract things as you feel is necessary. Good, keep going. Got a weird elbow there. Up, side, three, two, one more, up, good. All right, let's do a little plie and press down and up. Pull it down and up. Down into a second plie. Press, press, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one, come down to that plie, bring the arms in, out, out, 10 total, we're on six, five, four, three, two, one, good, all right, drop those weights for a second, go ahead and grab a drink, shake everything out. We're going to come over to the bar and you're going to need your ball or your pillow, whatever you're going to use. All right. I had to take a quick pause and go find the ball because I needed it for this part. Now, if you don't have a ball for this part, I would just, um, for this move specifically that we're going to do first, I would just recommend not using anything at all. Doesn't really work with a pillow. Um, other things will work with a pillow, but this really won't. But that's okay, you can do it without. So grab your bar. Okay, we're gonna face it. That ball, if you have it, is going to come behind the right knee. All right, 
We're gonna lunge, lunge. So it's not a huge movement. You gotta squeeze with that opposite leg to keep that ball there. Okay, six, five, four, three, four, two, and one. Good. Now bring the ball, put it underneath the right heel. All right. So just like this, same thing. Lunge, lunge. We're doing 10 total. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Scoot back just a teeny tiny bit. All right. Hands come up off the bar. We're going to come back into that kind of extended position. All right. We're gonna come up, lift that leg, back down. So take it nice and slow, okay? Try and let go of that bar when you come down. Lift and squeeze that left leg, point the toe. Good. Four more. And one. All right, we're lifting and lowering. Little bend in that standing leg on the ball, even though I know it hurts. Okay, you can put your forearms on here if it's better. Lift. Lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to take it up, tap it out to the side, back up, tap it out to the side, up and out, up and out. Good. Getting into that glute, swing that leg back and around and out to the side. Four more. Three. Two and one. Good. All right, leg goes back out one more time. We're bringing that knee in towards the chest, straight back out. In and out. Good. In and out. In. Four. Three. Two. And one, good, Woo. all right. I am sweating, I feel like that's the light, I'm not, okay. Grab a drink, just take a second. We're gonna switch sides, okay? So, ball comes behind that left knee crease this time, okay? Here we go. Lift the knee and down. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now that ball goes underneath that left heel. All right. Whew. Step it back up. Lunge here. Down. Up. We're doing 10 total. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Coming up, coming back down. Try to lift the hands. Up, ooh, and back. 
Keep that left leg bent. Good. Woo. <laughs> Find your balance. Good job. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Woo. All right. Keeping that left heel on the ball. Forearms come to rest on the bar. Okay. Lift and lower that back leg. Lift. That left knee is still bent. It's going to hurt. Lift and squeeze that glute. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to kick this table when I do my out to the side. All right, all underneath that left heel again. Forearms come down. All right, let's see, am I gonna hit other things back here? Yes. Oh. Tough when you don't have designated workout space here in your house. All right, let's try again. So here we go, left leg is bent, taking it up, out, up, tap it down to the side. Good, nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, knee in and out. Pull it up to the chest. In, out, in, out. Four, three, two, last one. Good. Woo. All right, good work you guys. You can get rid of whatever you're using for a bar. All right, let's fix. All right, now you're still gonna need your ball, okay? But here is where a pillow will also probably work if you don't have a ball. Grab a drink here. Okay, so ball or pillow, you're gonna come underneath the sacrum, all right? The rest of you is laid down. Hands are gonna come down to your sides, palms pressing into the mat, shoulders pressing into the mat. Okay, so if you've got a ball, that's what you're doing. If you've got a pillow, same thing, you might want to use two kind of to get the right angle, but it's up to you, okay? So find what works, make sure it doesn't hurt your back. All right, whichever one you're using. I really hope I don't break this ball. This is not what it's for. <laughs> okay, shoulders, palms pressed into the mat. Take the legs straight out in the hover, all right? So they're as low as you can get them without touching the floor, engaging those abs, okay? We're gonna bend one knee, bring it in, take it back out, other side. So nice and simple, okay? Nice and slow. You can also do this without the ball, okay? 
without the pillow. You can do it with just your hips flat on the ground. Good. Two more each side. You're doing awesome. In, out. Last ones each side. Good. All right. Whew. Relax for just a second. Let's go down a little bit. All right. Ball still stays under that sacrum. Palms down. Legs come back up to that hover, but we're going to put the soles of the feet together. Let the knees come open in a little diamond shape, okay? Now we're gonna lower down. Tap. And up. Woo, these are killer. Again, take it slow. I don't really care how many you do, okay? Just keep those knees open and use those abs. Really getting really deep into those low abs. Four more. Four. Three. Keep those feet glued together. Keep breathing. Two. Last one. Good. Come back up to the hover. Wiggle if you need to. And then come back to that diamond shape, okay? Whew. My hips want to lock up. All right. Diamond shape. Hover. Engage those abs. Tap one toe. I mean, one foot, you know, all the toes is up to you. Alternating sides, tapping it down, bringing it back up. Good. Two more each side, all right? You can do it. Last ones. Good. All right. Take a quick breath. Tuck the knees in. Last thing here, okay? Ball stays where it is. Woo. Everything extends. Everything hugs into a little ball. Woo. This ball is not for this. Extend. Bring it in. Extend to hover. Bring it in. Good. Again, you can do this with the pillow. You can do it without the ball. Open. Close. Good. We're on six. Five. Four. Three. Woo. Two. You can do it. Last one. One, oh, hug it all together, tuck that chin, and release the upper body. Woo, big breaths. Take a little rock from side to side. Woo, good work. All right, just for a little stretch, we're not quite done yet, but let's drop the knees over to one side. You can straighten one or both legs if it feels okay. Check my time. All right. Okay. Good. Let's inhale back to center. Exhale, drop the legs to the other side. 
Same thing, straighten one or both legs if you want to, whatever feels good. All right, come back to center. Good job. Roll it up just long enough to flip over. All right, a couple more core exercises here. Coming into a plank position. All right, so full plank here. We're going to All right, sorry about that. I had to think for a second. Come into a plank position. Okay, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale here, pull that core in nice and tight. Bring it up to a plank, okay? We're gonna inhale here. We're gonna exhale, thread that right foot through. Open it up, okay? We're gonna tap it down, open, down, open. Back to center, other side, thread it through. Down, twist and tap, open it all the way up, other side, good. Open it all the way up, okay? Or else you're not getting that full twist. One more each side. Good. Back down. All right. Opposite ankle touches. All right. All the way back up to plank. Touch. Good, four. Three. Two. One more, each side. Good, job the knees. Sit back to child's pose. Woo, good job everybody. Breathe here, reach the arms, fingers are spread wide, chest and forehead down towards the mat. Big inhale through that nose, big exhale out. Another one. Good. When you're ready, inhale, come up to all fours. All right, keep the hips over the knees. We're gonna exhale, walk the hands out, come into an extended child's pose, puppy pose, chest and forehead down towards the mat. Breathe. Feel the really big stretch through the shoulders. Good, inhale, walk up to all fours, come all the way back to sit. All right, I'm gonna turn this way. All right, so sitting on those feet. Let's inhale, take the arms up, exhale, reach over to the right. Right hand can be on the ground, your forearm can be on the ground, depends on flexibility. Make sure we're not collapsing the back here. Okay, we're gonna rotate open. Keep the chest open, reach. 
Good. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up, bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders open. All right, you can stay here or you can hinge forward as far as you are comfortable. Let those hands come up towards the head. Keep breathing. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl up. Chin comes up very last. Let's do a couple more arm stretches here. Inhale, take the arms out. Exhale, bring one arm across the body. Okay, that shoulder's gonna try and come up here. Pull it back down. Good work today, you guys. Keep breathing. Inhale, release, exhale, other side. Same thing, check that shoulder, pull it back. Got a hair stuck in my eye. Inhale, release, shake those arms out. Go ahead and come all the way through to his feet. Ooh, bring the soles of the feet together. All right, sit up nice and tall. Inhale here, exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Use the knees, use the elbows to gently press the knees closer to the floor if it is comfortable. I feel like my ability to speak the correct words has a direct correlation to what time my four-year-old gets up in the morning and today it was early. All right, just for fun. Take those legs out wide, okay? You can stay here and just hinge forward. Or if you wanna do a little strength, okay, a little stretch, plant that right hand back behind that right hip. Press the hips up. Switch sides. One side's usually stronger than the other. I think this side is stronger for me. Press. Good. Ooh, one more little fold forward. Good job, you guys. Come up nice and slow. We are done. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.